Alright guys, welcome back, and today we're going to continue on with our Flask application. In the last couple of videos, I went more in-depth about SQLite and using SQL statements and such in Python, if you are interested in that. And today we're going to talk about passing in parameters or values in the render template method or, or function, and how that's going to be useful for us. And uh, if you haven't watched the rest of these videos where we make a Flask application, feel free to check that out. And let's just get into it. I'm just going to do a basic demo, and then maybe in the future we can actually set it up for real. Um, so instead of, let's just call this demo.html that we're going to work with, and I'm just going to type HTML just to get the bare bones. Okay. So we want to render this, and let's say that when we connect to our database, we want to list a bunch of stuff in this HTML document, just like we would with posts when we get to how this is actually going to fit into the application, right? We're going to get a bunch of posts, and we're going to display all of those after we retrieve them from the database. So let's go ahead, and for this, I'm just going to make a temporary yeah, that's cool. I'm going to make a temporary route just for this, and then I'll go ahead and delete it afterwards. But let's do app.route. And this one's going to be slash demo or something like that. I don't think we have that. And methods is just going to be get. We're not going to post anything. And then for the definition, let's just call this demo. And I'm just making this. This isn't. Um, you know, essential. You don't have to make this this demo, obviously. This is just me making this just for demonstration. And I want to take a look at my database to see what it is we can display. Okay, so for instance, let's say we wanted to, and I only have one user, don't I? What about games? Let's say we wanted to list all of the games, maybe not the consoles, just the names of the games. Of course, we could do both, but for this, let's just show all of the names of the games in their own HTML um, tag. And how would we do that? How would we pass a list into HTML and render it? And it's actually quite interesting, and it, it's not too difficult, as we'll see. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I don't know why that keeps coming up. Let's go ahead and let's make a connection, which is going to be equal to, actually, I will just copy and paste these two lines right here, where we make a connection and create our cursor so we can uh, query our SQLite database. And let's write some SQL. So SQL is going to be select, and then let me try to remember, name from the table games. So select name from games. Okay. And Let's go ahead and execute that. So we'll do cursor, or no, we named it cur, I'm sorry, dot execute SQL. And then let's get some kind of variable, I'm gonna name it results, and that's going to equal cur dot fetch all. And that's gonna give us all of the rows that this SQL query is going to select. All right, and then let's go ahead and let's make a, another variable. It's going to be a list called names, which is going to equal an empty list for now. There might be a cleaner way of doing this, um, but I think the way I'm writing it out here might help you uh, understand this a little easier. So we have this empty list name names, and that's going to eventually hold all of the names of the games from this query. And if you remember, this query after we use fetch all is actually going to put them in a list of tuples. So in order to extract them, let's just say for name in uh, results, so each one of those tuples, let's go ahead and grab that value, which is just going to be index one and put it in the names uh, empty list and soon to be full list. So let's do names.append, and then name, which is the individual tuple. Maybe I shouldn't have named it that, but I think it makes sense. Name and index zero. There's only going to be one value in each tuple, and that's going to be the name. 
So I think this is going to work. Um, once again, we have this empty list names. We're going through the results of the SQL query, which is a list of tuples, and we add them to the empty list that we created, each one of those values. Okay, and now we can go ahead and render our template. And the template is actually going to be this base HTML. So base dot HTML. And you can actually add an unlimited amount of parameters into this render template. And the parameters that we're going to add are things that we want to pass into the HTML document. And for us, we just want to pass this names list. And we can name the variable that we're going to pass into it whatever we want. Um, so I'm just going to name this variable games and you'll see how this works once we get into the HTML. And that's going to be equal to the variable, the list that we created called names. And I know this is probably confusing right now if it's your first time seeing it. What is going on? Do not show again. Okay, so once again, we're passing in this variable games that we just made, and that's going to hold in the list of names. All right, so that's all we should need to do in the Python in the back end. So let's go back into the demo.html and let's talk about how we are going to display it. So if you remember how we did the content and, and the different blocks that we made in the base HTML, right? We had a block for title, we had a block for the body. Um, we're going to do something similar to go through all of these and um, display them. So we're going to use a for loop and one of these you know, curly braces with the parentheses on each. And we're going to say for, let's say game in, and then the games, which is the variable that we're passing in. So that's how it knows what this variable is because we, we are using that same exact variable that we're passing in uh, right here. All right, so we have to name it the same. So for game and games, and then to end this for loop, we need to end for. Okay, so it's gonna go through each one of these games and then we have to decide what we're going to do with it. And for this purpose, I am just going to put them in an H1. And right here is where we pass in the Python variable game for each one in <laughs> the variable we passed games. And in order to um, display the value of a variable, we do two curly braces, both open and close, and type in that Python variable, which is going to be game. And hopefully this makes sense. Um, I'm trying to explain it the, the best I can, but essentially we're going through all of those games and that games variable we passed in. Um, we're naming each one game as we go through them and we are going to display the value by two opening and closing curly braces. And we're not going to see this in the H1. We're actually going to see a name of each of the games in the H1. And it's going to loop through and keep adding them um, and displaying individual H1s as we go along. So hopefully this works after all that talking. Let's go back to this and I'll bring up Let's clear this out and let's run Python API demo. Let's make sure this compiles. Cool. So let's run this. For some reason it doesn't pop up. And what was the route? It was something like demo, right? The view function did not return a valid response. The function did I not return? Oh, that's probably why. I do this all the time. We're supposed to return render template. <laughs> there we go. Let's try refreshing this. And there is nothing here. I wonder if it's going to tell us why. Nope. So let's see if I did something wrong. And let's go ahead and print names and see if there's anything in that list. So let's refresh this. Yeah, okay. So we actually are having stuff in the list. So I'm curious why it is not showing them in the HTML. Oh, 
it's because I passed in base HTML. Wow, that makes sense. <laughs> we want demo HTML, not base HTML. There we go. Yeah, I didn't catch how it had the uh, nav bar at the top, but now you can see now that we have the right HTML that we've been working with, because I created the demo HTML for this purpose, but for some reason I put base HTML. Um, you can see now that it's listing all of the games that were in that names variable, or that list that we had, all right? Call of Duty all the way to Forza, just like that. So that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take that, uh, that template post, media post that we created, and we're going to show all of the reviews that way. So hopefully this made sense. And hopefully you guys follow along. I'm going to go ahead now and delete both of these. And uh, I'll catch you in the next episode.